Hello everyone, thanks for coming back. This video is for my pre-calc class, section 5.4, the sum and difference formula. So if you have your unit circle, have that handy, and I'm going to show you how to apply all of the sum and difference formulas that we have that are right over here. So we have the sine of u plus v is equal to the following and cosine of u plus v, tangent u plus v, or u minus v for all of these. So I'm going to do three quick examples here. Uh, let's start off with just using the cosine of 75 degrees. So if I'm going to start off with the cosine of 75 degrees, well we know 75 degrees is not on our unit circle, so what we want to do is use something that is on our unit circle. So I'm going to split this up as the cosine of 30 plus 45. So some of you may be asking, well what if I did 45 plus 30? It still works out as long as this adds up to 75. I pick 30 and 45 because those are on my unit circle. So what you have to identify is this is your u and this is your v. So cosine of u plus v, I'm going to be using this formula right here. And if I just follow along with what it says right there, it says the cosine of u times the cosine of v. So I'm going to write down the cosine of 30 times the cosine of 45. And then minus the sine of u, which was 30, times the sine of v, which was 45. And now what I need to do is, since I, I've written it out like that, I need to apply the values that come from your unit circle. So what is the cosine of 30 degrees? Well, again, 30 degrees right here, pi over 6. Cosine goes with the x value. So that's radical 3 over 2 times the cosine of 45. So that's radical 2 over 2. Those are being multiplied, and then I subtract the sine of 30. So sine of 30, that goes with the y value. Okay, that's 1 half times the sine of 45, which is, again, radical 2 over 2 for the y value. And then just simplifying this so it matches pretty much the answer in the back of the book or an ACT type question. Multiply fractions, multiply straight across. So radical 3 times radical 2, that's radical 6 over 4 minus radical 2 over 4. So that's, a, that's an answer that you can leave. Or since they both have a common denominator, you can write it as radical 6 minus radical 2 over 4. Or, one thing that they like to do is they factor a radical 2 out of the top. And they have this as radical 3 minus 1 all over 4. So you can write it like that, or sometimes they'll actually write this fraction as radical 2 over 4 times radical 3 minus 1. They'll write them like that. Every one of these is acceptable. You're looking at the multiple choice, if this was a multiple choice type of problem, on how they would write your answer. Okay, so that was the cosine of u plus v. Let me scroll over here now, and I'll keep the unit circle and the formulas uh, handy. Um, let's do something like the sine of pi over 12. Now we're in radians. So again, how do you figure out, well, what's going to add up or subtract to get you pi over 12? And that is going to be the sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4. So again, if I got a common denominator of 12, that's 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12, which is 1 pi over 12, that gets us that. So recognizing that's your u and that's your v. So we want the sine of u minus v. So that's this formula right here. So I'm going to apply all this and just write it out here. Okay, let's uh, talk here through. It's going to be sine of u. So that's going to be sine of pi over 3 times the cosine of v, which was pi over 4, minus the cosine of u, cosine u was pi over 3, and then times the sine of v, which was pi over 4. 
And we go back to our unit circle and fill these in. Now, what's the sine of pi over 3? Well, pi over 3 is 60 degrees. Sine goes with the y value. So this right here is radical 3 over 2. Cosine of pi over 4, that's radical 2 over 2. And there's pi over 4 right there. Cosine goes with the x value. And then those are being multiplied and subtract cosine of pi over 3. So the cosine of pi over 3, there's 1 half. And then the sine of pi over 4. Sine of pi over 4, again, is going to be radical 2 over 2. And you're going to see that when you do the sine and cosines, that a lot of your answers look very similar because you're dealing with the same fractions that are your answers here. So we got radical 6 over 4 minus radical 2 over 4. And again, you can do the same thing um, by writing out your answers differently here. We could write these together as radical 6 minus radical 2 all over 4. You can take out a radical 2 and you have radical 3 minus 1 all over 4. So you can write those all in those different, different ways there. So the last one I want to do is tangent because tangent usually requires a little bit more algebra on how you're going to simplify your answer to match the back of the book here. So let me go over here and I've got the tangents in terms of your uh, formulas written out here. And so I got the unit circle again that we can reference. Okay, So I'm going to do a problem here of the tangent of 165 okay and I'm gonna split that up and again you can use any combination but I'm gonna choose the tangent of 130 uh, well excuse me 135 okay I'm gonna erase that I'm gonna use 135 plus 30 Okay, so tangent of u plus v, I'm using this one right here. So again, that's the u and that's the v. And now I'm going to apply it. you got a fraction here of how this is going to go. So it's going to start off with the tangent of u, 135, plus the tangent of v, which was 30. Okay, and we're going to divide that by 1 minus the tangent of 135 times the tangent of 30. All right, so we got to do our unit circle here. What was the tangent of 135? Well, if you had that written before, remember that's y divided by x. That's going to be a negative 1 plus the tangent of 30. So 30 degrees right here is y divided by x, so 1 half divided by radical 3 over 2. And you're going to know that hopefully from your earlier section, that's going to be radical 3 over 3 all over 1 minus negative 1 times radical 3 over 3. Okay, so we've plugged it all in and we're going to get a value here. And now to match what's in the back of the book, you got some algebra to, to clean this up with. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this 1 to a negative 3 over 3 plus radical 3 over 3. And then this 1, I got negative 1 times radical 3 over 3. That's negative radical 3 over 3 and then subtracting it. Then I wind up with 1 plus radical 3 over 3. And again, I'm going to change the 1 to 3 over 3. So negative 3 over 3 plus radical 3 over 3. Change that 1 to 3 over 3 plus radical 3 over 3. That's very similar, but we'd like that if that was a, we'd cancel everything if this was a, a positive here, and that'd just be 1, but we can't do that. So what I'm going to do next now, since I got all common denominators, I'm going to put them together. So I'm going to have negative 3 plus radical 3 over 3 and then 3 plus radical 3 over 3. And you're going to see here, hopefully, again, dividing by fraction, same as multiplying by its reciprocal, or you can just tell that these two will cancel out. Okay, so what we have left here 
is negative 3 plus radical 3 over 3 plus radical 3. Now, how do you simplify this? Well, you have to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. Now, the conjugate is the opposite of the operation in the middle here. So I got 3 minus radical 3, 3 minus radical 3. So I have to multiply top and bottom by that. Now, when you do that, okay, you treat it like a foil, top and bottom. And the bottom, since they're conjugates, you're just going to wind up with the first term multiplied, so that's 9, and then minus 3. So we're going to have 6 on the bottom when it's all said and done. Okay, And then on the top, when we do this, we've got to do a whole first, outer, inner, last, and see what happens here. So we're going to have negative 9, outer, negative times a negative is going to be plus 3 radical 3. Extend this here a little bit. And then inside is going to be plus, again, a 3 radical 3. And then last, we're going to have minus 3 for the radical times the radical. All right, so let's clean this up. No, I'm going to have 6 on the bottom. Negative 9 and negative 3, that's negative 12. And then how many radical 3's do we have in here? We have 6 radical 3. Okay, so last thing we can do is pretzel this. We can split it up to simplify. Okay, and our final answer here simplified to match the back of the book here, is negative 12 divided by 6, that's negative 2, and then 6 radical 3 divided by 6, the 6 is just cancel, and we're left with radical 3. Now, one of the things you can do to check is making sure your calculator is in degree mode. You can plug in your calculator. If you plug in the tangent of 165, you're going to get a decimal. And if you type in negative 2 plus radical 3, you'll get a decimal. And I got my calculator right here. And if I do negative 2 plus radical 3, you're going to see that this comes out to be negative 0.2. 267 and if you typed in as long as you're in degree mode the tangent of 165 you're going to see that you're going to also get negative 0.267 so that's how you can check using your calculator okay so hopefully those three examples helped you with the sum and difference formulas thanks for tuning in if you haven't subscribed to my page please do so and uh, thanks for coming